What's up, y'all? Welcome to Poseidon Analysis, where every new video watched is another video made. So, we got a video today that just dropped. 73 questions with Kim and, uh, and Kanye. With Kim featuring Kanye for Vogue. This should be an interesting one. Let's get into it. That's my song right there. Flashing lights. That's that's my that's my jam. Kanye, yo. <laughs> um, I'm here to ask 73 questions. I'm ready. Ah, uh, babe, this is for me. Oh. The kids are in the room. <laughs> Kim. Hi. So I oh hell no. <laughs> nah, you wouldn't have done that to me, bro. I, Kim, it's for us. I don't care. It's for us. You ain't Kim, um, Kanye. This, this, this is for me. Go, go check on the kids. Nah, there would have been none of that. Not in my house. No, no, bro. Catch you guys home together. Is this like a rare thing? It is really rare. So lucky you. Oh, that's great. And um, what did you do for the first thirty minutes of your day? I woke up at five forty-five. Brushed my teeth, got ready, headed to the gym, and worked out. Nice. So what's a typical lazy day when everyone's together? There's no such thing as a lazy day. <clears throat> Y'all see the view behind behind her? The whole house. The 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 bro, look at how large that backyard is. That's the backyard. Apparently, all of this is what a sex tape can get you. Apparently. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. All okay. the kids are in the room. So your home is clearly stunning. Thank you. How would you describe this home? I would say like a minimal monastery. Wow. And where did the inspiration come from? From Axel Vavort and Kanye. Okay, random question. What was the last Kimoji that you used? Um, my daughter North used the Kim blowing the bubble gum. Oh, that's cute. Hi guys. Aww. What are you doing? Daddy's in here? Adorable. Oh, thank you. So what are these guys most into in life right now, Kim? Um, sorry, what was the question? What What are they most into in life right now? Um, Saint is into Paw Patrol. Anything Paw Patrol. North is into Bill Nye, the science guy. I want to meet him. You do? And Shy is into anything food. It must be nice. It must be. It gotta be nice. It got to. It got to. Even with all the kids. It just must be nice. <laughs> That's great. And what's the most rewarding thing about being a mom? Um, I would say when the kids tell you they love you. I already said that. Kanye, what's the best part about being a dad? The kids. <laughs> but I thought it wasn't for Kanye though I thought it was for you Kim You gonna let him invade a question like that I thought it was I thought it was for you What's the most important thing you learned From your parents about raising a family Kim Just that family is everything Oh cough on me why don't you Aww. Can you share with me your secret to good parenting Um I would say you just have to wing it My sisters and I are on a group chat Always getting parenting advice. Uh, but they don't get <laughs> advice from me. Can I get on that chat, please? Uh, I'm going to have to let you guys sort that out. Guys, do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah, of course. Great. I like What's the most important thing that you want your kids to know? I want my kids to be kind. I and... like squishies, too. Oh, and to be... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, we got to rewind it. I'm sorry. Bro, it's been... I'm When it comes to keeping up with the Kardashians, I'm way behind. Bro, they got so many seasons on that damn. Why do y'all got so many episodes? And every episode is like like at least 40 minutes long, bro. I ain't never getting caught up. But where I am, I'm pretty like I'm pretty impressed with myself where I'm already at. But like <clears throat> I'm on like season five, season six, yeah, I think season six. But bro, hold on. Around. Yeah, of course. Great. What's the most important? Why do y'all have a jungle?
Y'all live in a jungle. What is that? What am I looking at right now? Why is your house centered in the middle of a jungle? I can literally see a tiger. I can see the tiger. You don't see the tiger? I can see it. Bro. Y'all got the money, man. Y'all got the money. Something that you want your kids to know. I want my kids to be kind. I and like squishies too. Oh, and to be kind and to treat everybody the same way. How did you manage to keep it real for the family and sometimes unreal surroundings? Well, I think we always keep it real and there's really no real situations. <laughs> and what would you say is the thing that... Bro, this is how you know I don't keep up with them. The only kid I know is the daughter who we can't see right now, North. Who is that that Kanye is holding? And who is this that Kim is holding? And now they have another one on the way. Bro, this is something, man. Who are they? Your kids taught you. My kids have taught me how to be patient and just how... Like, what's important Princess. in life? And Come Fortnite. Right. And yeah, Fortnite. once night. <laughs> oh, and Fortnite. <laughs> so who's most excited for baby number four? Who's most excited for baby brother? Like, you? Oh. I think North is too, because um, Saint will have someone to play with instead of her. And Saint wants to name him Sainty too, right? I want to play with Chicago, that's why. Oh. Uh -huh. So how ready are you guys feeling for the new arrival? Um, I mean... The room's not ready yet, so kind of stressing. What name will, you, will your baby definitely not have? He will definitely not have another direction. Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? That is all for North. And actually, Anna had some influence in naming North because once she heard that rumor, she asked me and said that name, name was genius. So that was helpful to that me. That is so funny. Now, I saw that video, by the way, where Kanye got 112 to sing to you. That was so sweet. What's the story behind that? I'm just obsessed with 112. Right, babe? What? I'm obsessed with 112. Yeah, she's obsessed with 112. Kim, what's the one thing about Kanye that you love the most? Um, I love that he's always himself. Okay, one second, okay? And then you guys met in 2004. Boy, is he ever. He is definitely always himself. That's the one thing you cannot take away from Kanye. <clears throat> All the stupid stuff he's ever said. He will admit to it. He will not he will not shy away from it. He will not deny it. That's the one thing about Kanye you cannot deny. That's one thing you can't take from him. The friends been since 2007. No, Daddy. Okay, one second. Let me finish How talking. How did you know that Kanye was the one? I knew he was the one when I went to his Paris fashion show. And Kanye, how did you know that Kim was the one? Uh, I saw on a paparazzi pic with Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> What's Kanye's biggest pet peeve about you, Kim? Um, that I can be bratty sometimes. Um, what's one thing Kanye has taught you? Um, Kanye has taught me major confidence. What's one thing you're proud to say that you taught him? I am proud to say that I've taught him, given him, like, really good financial advice on saving. You give me some advice, but I don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the okay. best gift he's ever given? Um, last year for Christmas. Okay, Northy, take your brother to go get Sprite. What Sprite? Um, it's your one time. Um, best gift for Christmas last year. He gave me. A I say, you know, Kanye loves his kids, bro. I have never seen Kanye smile so much, like consistently. The only, the only, <clears throat> the only exception was when he was on the Family Feud. He is smiling, smiling constantly. That's how you know he loves his kids. Box and I opened it and it was Mickey Mouse and Adidas socks and Apple headphones. And I thought, okay. And then he told me that he bought me major stock in all of those companies. Kanye, what was her reaction? She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, when I thought it was just Adidas socks and headphones, I was like, thanks. All right, let me take you on a tour from the rest of the house. All right, great. How do you describe living in Calabasas? Very chill. Uh, if it wasn't Calabasas, where would it be? Beverly Hills. And if it wasn't Los Angeles? Um, the Bahamas. Whose career do you respect and admire the most? 
Um, I would say my mom's because at 50 years old, she really honestly didn't know how she was going to make ends meet and take care of all of these kids. Mm. And after 50, she built this whole huge empire. What's the most overused phrase right now? Sex hate. Probably it's lit. That is just everywhere. What drives you the most crazy? Um, I think unorganized closets. How do you really feel about the paparazzi? It depends on what I look like that day. And if you could have dinner with anyone, living or not living, who would it be? Definitely my dad. Okay, the home tour is going to continue with a hard... How long have they been walking down that hallway? Hold on, hold on. We got to count the seconds on that. I, bro, hold on. Or used phrase right now. Know how she was going to make ends meet. I rewinded it back like 30 seconds and she's still in that hallway. Bahamas. Whose career do you respect and admire the most? Um, I would say. All right, the timer starts at 528. Say my mom's because at 50 years old, she really honestly didn't know how she was going to make ends meet and take care of all of these kids. Mm. And after 50, she. Are we in a house or a museum? Bro, this is crazy, bro. Built this whole huge empire. What's the most overused phrase right now? Probably it's lit. That is just everywhere. What drives you the most crazy? Um, I think unorganized closets. How do you really feel about the paparazzi? It depends on what I look like that day. And if you could have dinner with anyone, living or not living, who would it be? Definitely my dad. Okay, the home tour is going to continue with a hard right into the living room. 30 seconds. That was a little over 30 seconds. And they didn't even make it to the end of the hallway. He made a sharp right into another room. It must be nice. And what kind of <laughs> piano is this? This is gorgeous. Unbleached Steinway. And how's the uh, lessons going for you right now? I started and I quit. Oh, that's a bummer. What is the last movie that you saw that made you laugh? Incredibles 2. What's the last movie that made you cry? Ben is back with Julia Roberts. What was the last time that you cried in general? I cried when I took over my mom's Christmas Eve party and she was so emotional about it, giving it up, that she started crying and it made me cry. Aww. How much time do you spend per day on Instagram? Not that much, like 30 minutes. How do you decide what or what not to post? I just do whatever I feel. Kim, you have over 130 million Instagram followers. Honestly, what is that like? It's so crazy just to think about it. Do you read your DMs? I don't. There's too many DMs. I can't even get started. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Well, a fan has asked me to legitimately adopt them. What? That is so weird. What's something about you that you wish more people focused on? I wish they would not focus on my ass all the time. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go continue this tour. She did not just say that. She did not just say that. <clears throat> if you didn't want people to focus so much on your ass all the time, why did you make it bigger through surgery? Or whatever means that you went through to make it happen. Because we definitely know that's not natural. We definitely know you didn't work with it. You didn't enhance it by working out. No, bro. You got some kind of surgery done. So if you don't want people to fo if you didn't want people to focus on that, why did you get it done? Because you wanted people to focus on it. So don't 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 do that. Don't do that, Kim. <clears throat> don't do that. Please don't. Don't. How do you deal with negative feedback on social media or generally in the press? Honestly, I know it's hard, but you just have to really ignore it. What are three words that best describe you? I hate describing myself. Okay, well then what three words do you hear <laughs> most often when people describe you? I would say sweet and smart. And is there a third? And kind. 
Would you say that they're accurate? Most definitely. Can you show me a hidden talent? I have a hidden talent of being able to smell when somebody has a cavity. That's impressive. What do you call when you need life advice? I would call my mom for sure. What's the most useful thing that she's ever told you? My mom in business has always told me to really keep everything that I'm doing private and not really announce anything until it's ready to go. Kim, this kitchen is so amazing. Thank you. Wow. Um, what's your favorite thing about Armenia? Look at how big that kitchen is. Once again, are we in a house or a museum or a five-star restaurant? Where are we right now? I really want to know. Where are we? The food. Mm, if I had 24 hours in Armenia, what should I eat? You should eat everything. All right. Hayeren Hosum Ek? Um, inch besses is all I know. I don't know what that means. What do you think you'll be remembered for, Kim? Um, from my many talents. All right. What's a question you generally detest being asked? No, that's what you hope you'll be remembered for. I could say more, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go in on her on this one. I'm not. I really hate when people ask me what I do. What's the question you wish you'd be asked more? I don't really like answering questions, so nothing. We well, must be loving this experience. What's the weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? Well, when I was single, I would always hear that I was dating all these people that I've never even met, and one time I went to the movies ran into someone that they said I was dating, so it was really awkward, and I was just praying that no one would take a picture and then think I was, you know, lying this whole time and really dating this person. But, or, I've heard that I've killed a raccoon with my high heels. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What's one product you can't live without? Can't live without my KKW contour. What is your favorite beauty trend right now? I love just a more minimal, soft, dewy makeup. What's a beauty trend that you wish you never tried? wish that I never did really white under my eyes. Now, in my interview with Kendall, she said she's the only one who knows you can do anything with your toes. What does that even mean? I can't believe she said that, first of all. <laughs> and it means that, thank you, Kendall, for putting me on the spot. But it means that I literally can, like, pick up a cell phone with my toes, dial, pick up a fork, eat. I can do anything with my toes. Your mom's cameo was amazing. What was the best time that you guys pranked her? Oh, my mom pranks are the best. Todd Crane's prank is my all-time favorite. Can we prank her now? I mean, I don't know if she'll, you know, be down for our prank now, but we can call her. Let's call her. That'd be great. What's something that you thought you'd never see yourself doing in a million years? Go to law school. What's something people would be surprised to find out about you? I have heard that that's a new venture that she's starting. She like she's trying to like get into that area because she wants to help people. <clears throat> Respect for that, I guess, you know. Respect for that. You're trying to help people. You're trying to... Because I think she says something like she wants to help people who are... Who, like, are being, like, um... Their, their punishment is being, like, either strict, like, too strict. Like, the law is being too strict on what this person should actually get. Uh, or deserve, you know, she, something like in that area. She wants to help people who are like <clears throat> being like rammed by the law, you know. Who's back for that? I think people would be surprised that I'm smaller in person. Was there a time or a moment in your life that you felt most honored? Honestly, I feel honored every day with my, um, with just how Kanye is with me. Hi, honey. Hey, mom. Hey Wait, there. what's going on over there? Are you on a shoot or something? Yes, we are. Why wasn't I invited? Well, you always try to steal my shine, so this one I had to keep to myself. Oh, come on. Ooh, Kim. <laughs> All right, bye, mom. <laughs> All right, Kim, last question for you. 
Final question. Question number 73. Yes. Um, do you think, uh, do you think I can, um, get a new pair of Yeezys? Nice try. All I'm asking for is just one pair of Yeezys. Nope. All good. Kim, love this interview. Spending time with your family. Thank you so much. Bye. Kim, I like you, but you be annoying sometimes. Like, for real. I hate, like, <clears throat> I, don't, I do not like when people try to feed BS, you know what I mean? I don't like when people always question and talk about my ass. BS. You know, let me end this video before I end up getting mad. <clears throat> My name is Terrence, a.k.a. Poseidon, a.k.a. Poseidon Analysis. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Kim K.